Today I want to give you a few tips for connecting the letters. So I am going to take some of my tracing paper that I have and I will mention I like to practice, I'll practice on both sides. So I've already used part of that. I'll just flip it over and use it over here. In the last page of your workbook, page 14, is this blank guide sheet. So I love to just do practicing on this um, once I'm feeling comfortable after doing a bit of tracing. So I'm going to dip my glass dip pen into my ink and do a swipe. And then I'm gonna start. So when I'm connecting letters, there's a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. So the first thing is you wanna have high connection points. So when I write a word, so if I write the word, hello, almost all of my letters I ended up here at the waistline. And so that means it's connecting to the next letter here. So E is connecting with the L here. And this L is connecting with the L there. This L is connecting with the O. And what it does is it creates these little pockets of negative space that makes it easier to read. If I didn't do that, so say I did the same, the same word but did it a little bit, I didn't have the high connection points. My paper in the right spot. So if I still do the same letter or do hello, but I decide I'm just gonna end it here. I'm not gonna finish off the rest of that stroke. That one I did the right way out of habit. But then you're gonna get something like this, where these, you don't have those little pockets of negative space and it's harder to read. And also your spacing is not gonna be consistent here either. The next thing to consider when you're connecting letters is the spacing between the letters. So the space from this H to this E and this E to this L, that's all called kerning. So you can do really um, tight spacing. And if you do that, your letters are also gonna be a lot tighter. Or you could do really um, wide spacing so we could really get this spaced out so you can see the space in here is much wider than it is here and this is more like a standard spacing so none of these are right or wrong but you just want to try to be consistent so if you're going to do tight spacing do it on your whole word or your whole composition or if you're going to do really wide spacing do it on your whole word or composition we had a question in our lettering box facebook group that asked about connecting um, certain letters so she was asking um, if you have the letter e and the letter a and the letter c how do those connect to letters so if we take the name um, Kate, so we would do our K, that's not a good example, we need to do a lowercase one so it can connect. Okay, so here's this and then we're going to connect with our A. So I'm still going to finish up here at the waistline and how I know where to start my A is all of my letters are going to have pretty consistent spacing and so sometimes this can happen where you miss a little bit. And with E, what I'm actually, I'm going to end a little bit early because that's right where the loop will start. Then it will go up. So sometimes with this one, if you go T and you go all the way up and then you go to E, you'll get this situation happening where it extended. So with this one, I'll end it a little sooner so then I can just go into the loop of my E. And that's going to look a lot better. So for the A, every letter... You can see there's my letter A is that wide, and then the spacing for my A to my T is that wide. So you can see that all of these are pretty consistent in their width. So that's how I know where I'm gonna place my A because I know from here to here is this space. So I'm gonna start my A the same distance apart. So if I were to draw it again, here's my letter K. 
So if I know this is how wide my K is, I can go that same distance out here, and I know right about here is where I'm gonna start my A. Except now that's really humongous because I wasn't watching my guidelines. But that's the general concept. Um, but it does just take a bit of practice. C is the same where you're just going to have to, you're starting on, I'm trying to think of a word that has C in it. Um, if we did Jack, you're starting over here. So you're kind of having to eyeball where it's going to connect. And so some of that is practice and just takes a little bit of time. Um, but also you can just pay attention to the spacing and it should line up pretty well. So please let me know if you have any questions about connecting letters or specific letter connections because once you get into it, there are some letters that are harder to figure out how they actually connect. The other question that this um, member had was with capital letters. So generally speaking, if you have a capital letter, so if we're doing Kate, the capital letter does not connect to the lowercase letters. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide all the lowercase letters close to this one. So it doesn't matter what um, the letter is. So even if we had an S, it would be like this, or a B. And sometimes you can connect it. I'll do it often with B, with my name. I'll go B and then I'll go right in that to that E and that's fine. But if there's not a connection point like this K, this is gonna look better than if you were to do, um, let me find a space here. This situation. So this is gonna look better because it's gonna make your capital a little bit bigger and tighter together versus this one doesn't look quite as good. So those are just a few tips. Please let me know if you have any questions.